She was a cop accused of masterminding a murder for hire plot. And authorities say the victim was to be her own husband. Now in an Inside Edition exclusive, he's speaking with Stephen Fabian about what it was like to stage his own death to bring his wife to justice. You're watching a sting operation as it happens. Are you Valerie Cincinnati? What's okay. going on? A wife is about to get some devastating news about her husband. Might I have a seat for you, please? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you that Isaiah was found dead. <laughs> Kidding me? She appears stunned, <laughs> then breaks down. <laughs> but was it all an act? Oh my God! Valerie Cincinnati wasn't surprised to hear her husband was dead because prosecutors say she orchestrated a chilling murder-for-hire plot to kill him. I don't know what to do. Like my. But what she didn't know was that her husband was very much alive, and here he is. Never seen that video. You've never seen this video? No. Isaiah Cavalho is speaking exclusively to Inside Edition. What do you see when you watch this video? To me, it looks like a cold-blooded, cold-hearted person. So who is Valerie Cincinnati? Her occupation may surprise you. She was a New York City cop. She and her husband had been married for five years. They had one son together. I thought I was marrying somebody who protected and served for a, live, for a living. Somebody who was, you know, a cop an outstanding citizen, and instead I got a crazed lunatic. In 2019, they were going through a messy divorce, and authorities say Valerie Cincinnati schemed to do away with her husband. They say she put this man, her then boyfriend, John Daruba, in charge of hiring the hitman for $7,000, converted into gold to make it untraceable. Did she really think she was going to get away with this? I really believe she did, because she went through with it. But the boyfriend went straight to the FBI. Why? Because he says Cincinnati wanted to add another victim to her hit list, his 13-year-old daughter. Cincinnati was said to be jealous of the pricey gifts her boyfriend was buying his daughter, including Louis Vuitton bags, Ugg boots, and fake nails every week. Cops say she hated the teen with a passion and wanted her bumped off too. Working with the FBI, the two men in Valerie Cincinnati's life joined forces to bring her down. Together, they staged a realistic crime scene. The FBI told me to sit in the car and they took glass and they put it all over on the floor here, rolled down my window, put glass all over me inside of the car and told me to hunch over into the passenger seat. Was that eerie to stage your own death? Uh, it haunts me every day. The fake photo was shown to his wife as proof of death. Well, you don't have to worry about your court papers now. Cincinnati believed her husband had been killed. Her boyfriend secretly recorded what happened next as she tried to cover her tracks. Fake. Delete my text. You're not keeping anything on the Phone. The FBI moved in. Is there a part of you that's worried? When she gets out of prison, she's going to try to find somebody to actually do the job. I look over my shoulder constantly. There's not a day that I don't go by that I'm not afraid for my life. In a plea deal, the murder for hire charge was dropped. Cincinnati pled guilty to obstruction of justice. She was sentenced to 48 months in prison. Her ex-boyfriend was not charged.